joining me today as I talk about the three best modifications you can make to your Glock pistol to improve its accuracy and, and improve the overall consistency of the gun. Um, first off is the plastic guide rod. These here are all the stock parts that came into this uh, Gen 2 Glock 22 and all the Glock models um, are operate the same way. So showing you how to change it on this gun, it's the same on a 26, it's the same on any Glock. So just so you know, um, you can, this transfers over across the line. So starting off here with this, uh, this is the stock plastic guide rod, which controls the slide. And as you can see, it flexes. There's a lot of flex. So every time your slide's slamming back, this thing's bending and moving. So I highly recommend you change this right away um, to a metal one, of course. And nowadays, uh, tungsten is available, which the reduced, the heavy or the increased weight reduces the muzzle flip and the felt recoil. So it's a twofold improvement on the gun. Um, so I'll show you how you do that. It's really simple uh, to swap out the, the guide rod there. It's, uh, it's just as simple as when you're cleaning the gun. So you disassemble. Here's the unit I have. I believe it's a titanium unit. So nothing with weight increase, but as you can see, there's zero flex and a little bit beefier spring. I think it's the same weight though. Real simple. That goes out, and you know the new unit goes right back in. So it's real simple. We'll go ahead and leave that out and leave the barrel out, and get to this part here in a little later. But this changing the the guide rod, I highly recommend. It definitely increases the um, the flip and the uh, reset of the gun and overall shootability. Next is the trigger. The stock block trigger is what this unit is here. This is the trigger group I'm going to refer to this as. The stock setup is uh, it's too heavy in my opinion and it's also uh, gritty and spongy. You know, being everything is plastic, especially the shoe. Um, you can easily uh, reduce the pull weight by just changing out this connector and the spring and that's done relatively cheaply. But once you've gotten into here, you might as well swap out the whole unit, in my opinion. I went ahead and went with a uh, Glockmeister 3.5 pound uh, drop-in setup. So it, was, it came just like this, and I simply removed this one and dropped it in. It has a 3.5 pound pull. That's what's in this, uh, this lower right now. It's definitely smoother, a um, little bit crisper, and definitely has more positive reset. But the plastic shoe had some flex and required some modification, some massaging to make it feel, you know, better, make it feel like I just bought a, you know, a custom trigger. So I would recommend if I had to do this over, I would definitely go with the trigger setup that had a uh, metal shoe. I feel like that's probably the Achilles heel in this system is having the plastic shoe. You can feel all that take up in the, in the shoe itself. But it's a real easy uh, install. It's just two pins. As you can see here, there's one right here in the grip. This is for the lower portion, this part right here. And then the trigger itself is this big, this bigger pin right here. And then you pop those two out, and this whole mechanism comes out. It's on a little tension back here, so you want to make sure you keep it together. That's why I have the um, zip tie. And then you drop the new one in, put the pins in. Pretty simple installation. But changing the trigger is a must on a Glock if you really want to enjoy shooting the thing. And the last for this trio of modifications is the firing pin or the striker. This here is the stock unit. It's a steel unit, so it has more weight to it. Um, what you want to do is change out to a titanium unit, which is lighter. The lighter striker has a faster reset time, which improves accuracy. Um, it's a little bit more involved of an installation, but it's still something that's doable. I'll uh, show you uh, here how you um, do it. I'm not going to actually go through the entire process, but I'll show you the basics of how you go about changing the firing pin or striker. Um, <clears throat> this actually is my Glock tool. Uh, saved myself 10 bucks. I just found a screwdriver in the garage that had a shaft that was the right diameter. Ground down the tip. Here we go. That's what I used for changing the trigger. Yeah, it works just fine on everything. So with this one here, the key to this is if you can see right here, this plastic sleeve right here. That's actually around the firing pin or striker right here. This guy, you have to pull back 
if you can see it just moved back you can see it there I can slide it my fingers in the way let me get out of the way here and it slides I don't want to scratch up the pin there we go so that part slides back so once you pull it back that relieves the tension on this plate and the rack plate can slide up but beware when you slide it up there are pieces um, I believe a couple pieces in there that there's that are spring tension so springs are going to come out so you want to do it either in your hand like that or with a rag so you can catch them. Once the plate's out, firing pin striker comes right out. You remove the spring here, that sleeve, remove it, slide it onto the new firing pin and uh, reinstall. You're gonna have to put the springs back in, apply the tension, slide the plate back down. A little bit more involved of an installation. Um, I was a little nervous when I did it, but uh, once I actually did it, I realized it's extremely simple. There's really nothing you could mess up too much other than losing the springs, and they're cheap if you do. I mean, a dollar or two, I don't think it's that much. But uh, those are the three basic modifications you can make to your Glock pistol, any Glock pistol that, for that matter, that definitely improve the accuracy of the gun and the shootability of it. I mean, it, this being a 40 has a little bit of pop and flip, the muzzle wanted to go all over, and these modifications definitely help calm that down. And like I said, with the guide rod, I don't have the tungsten one. If you do go with the tungsten, which I believe I'm going to change out, I believe that will definitely, definitely reduce the muzzle flip even further and make the gun even more controllable. All right, well, thank you for uh, watching today, and I hope uh, you found uh, the, these tips uh, useful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.